Good morning, boys and girls. This is week six. We are moving along. We're doing a good job. Some of you are struggling a little bit with some of the things with basketball. Um, so I want to do a little bit more with basketball. I want to introduce a little bit more of basketball. I'm going to show you. Maybe showing you might be a little bit easier than, than having you watch uh, other videos or having you uh, listen to my voice over it but or read things. But what we're going to need today is you're going to need some kind of ball so you can get a basketball if you have one. Um, you can do this inside, all right? Uh, you don't want to break anything, obviously. So maybe if you have a small ball, that would be better. If you have a room where you can go into that might not have as many breakable objects in it, right? We don't want to upset anybody in the house. We also have a, you could do this outside as well. You can use a soccer ball for this, okay? Even though this is a basketball drill, you can use a soccer ball for this. You can also make your own ball. So I've made my own ball. It's not easy. I was practicing before. It's not an easy thing to use. Um, it's two sweatshirts in this bag, right? So this is a plastic bag. I actually use double plastic bag because the first plastic bag kind of ripped. So if I were you, I'd recommend using two plastic bags. Um, and put in as many clothes as you'd like and make it as big as you'd like, okay? So you can either make it big, which would be harder, or small, which would be easier. So it's up to you. So this is where you come up with how hard, how much you can challenge yourself, right? Because if you make it too big and it's too hard for you and you're not successful, then it's not working anyways. So you might as well make it smaller, be successful, and then as you progress, you can make it bigger yourself. So this is actually a pretty cool tool to use. I got this, I got this idea from other gym teachers um, in, in Queens and in New York. So use this. You can make it small. Um, make it small in the beginning, see if you can do it, and then... Um, Increase it by putting more clothes in there and uh, tying it back up. Okay, if it rips, you gotta double bag it or just start off by double bagging it. And if that rips, you gotta try again. Or you can use a soccer ball or a basketball, okay? Um, you are gonna follow along with me right now. So whatever I'm doing, try to do it with me. Okay, we're gonna do some ball gymnastics. I have my dog, dog here, Mabel. Mabel, she's right here. She's gonna be doing this with us as well. So she says hello. Um, and yeah, let's get started. All right, so first things first, you want to be standing, okay? So I'm going to be using this with this ball, I think, for a little bit, and then I'll show you that you can do it with the soccer ball as well, okay? So this is not as easy, so I hope that I don't, I don't mess this up that much, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this ball, okay? You're going to put it around your waist like this, going in the same direction. Okay, same direction. Keep going. Go as fast as you can go. Okay? So it's hard. You can kind of grab it with this bag like this and kind of use that. You don't want to do that. You want to try to keep it in your hands. Okay? So if you had another ball like this, right? So I have a soccer ball. So you want to go around in the same direction. Okay? As fast as you can. Same direction. As fast as you can. Okay? Then you want to go the other way. Go back the other way, as fast as you can. Go as fast as you possibly can. Challenge yourself, okay? Do not go like this unless you need to, okay? You can also use your body for this. One technique that you can do is you can um, move your body forward and back as you go around. So if you go this way, right, you can move your back and waist backwards, okay, and your hips, and as you come back around, you can move your hips forward, and you can do, do it that way, okay? Just like that. All right, good job. Now, let's go around your head. So this is around your head. A little harder to add on. Around your head. Go the other way around your head. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Now you're going to go above your head, okay? So on your fingertips, this is only on your fingertips. This should be above your head as high as you can go. I can't go that high because I have a ceiling, but this should be as high as you can go, okay? So if I were to get down here, there we go. Now I can go as high as I can go on my fingertips. Okay, back and forth. You should feel the burn in your arms. All right, try not to look at it. Try not to see if you can do it without looking at the ball. If you have to look at it, that's fine too. As fast as you can. Good, back around your head. The other way around your head. Around your waist. You can even do this kneeling down if you had to. Okay, the other way around your waist. 
All right, now that we're on one knee, let's stay here actually. Okay, so I'm gonna back up a little bit. So now we're gonna go around one knee. Let me see if I can move this back a little bit so you can see me. There we go. All right, now we're gonna go around one knee. Just like this, one knee, okay? As fast as you can around one leg. The way to get a good burn with this, right? So this is a good way to practice going around your knee. This is a little bit easier um, than switch it up go the other way. This is a little bit easier than standing up, right? So standing up, if you're leaning over like this and you have your knees bent, there's a burn that goes in your quads and your hamstrings. Okay, so your quads are in front. Hamstrings are the muscles that are in the back of your leg. Um, there's a burn that, that goes in there and that's good for your legs. So what I recommend is after you do this, we're gonna stand up, we're gonna do it while standing. So we're gonna switch legs, go around this leg. Fast as you can. Faster, faster. Good, and then switch it up, go the other way. Mabel's sitting here wondering what in the world is going on. You're getting a lesson there. Good. Now, standing, okay, let's try standing. So we're gonna put two feet together like this. All right, we're gonna go around both legs. So bending your knees. Try not to bend your back as much. Try to bend your knees, okay? So around as fast as you can. Go around. Let's do this for 10 seconds. Then. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now switch it up. thing I want to talk about is you should be using your fingertips right so on the quizzes that we had a lot of you were thinking that you use your palms to dribble with I just want to show you really quick do not use your palms to dribble the reason why you would think you you would use your palm but the reason why you don't use your palm is because if you use your palm you hit the ball right you want to use your fingertips and finger pads okay this is how you dribble the ball don't dribble in the ball at a house right now unless you're in a basement or a room that, that you can dribble in um, but Finger pads are underneath your fingers, fingertips, okay? So you push the ball down. You don't wanna hit the ball. All right, let's go back over here. Now we're gonna switch legs like this. We're gonna go around one leg, reverse, around the other leg, reverse. Okay, then we're gonna do figure eights. Okay, so figure eights is like on an ice skating rink, right? So they go up and down. I don't know if you can see my fingers right now. But up and down, just like this. Okay, so watch. So first thing, around. Let's go around this leg here, quickly. Doesn't matter which leg you go around first, but go around this leg. Switch. Good, around this leg. Switch, reverse. There you go, good job. Okay, figure eight. Round one leg, behind, in the front, behind, around. So let's see, ready? We go like this, around, as fast as you can. I still have the ball. I have bigger hands than most of you, but, than maybe all of you, but I still have the ball in my fingertips and finger pads, right? I mean, if you have to use your palms, you can. You want to try to get your finger pads strong. You want to try to get your, your wrists and your forearms strong. Get used to moving the ball fast, right? So. This is what this is all about, this drill ball gymnastics. All right, you could do this in your house every day. If you want to get good at basketball, you can wake up every morning, do this for about a half hour. You will get so fast with the ball, be able to control the ball a lot better, and just get a feel for the ball, All right? The other thing that you can do in the house um, is you could sit and you can put the ball above your elbow like you're shooting, okay? And then if you're sitting down like this, you could just shoot and follow through. And you want to follow through, fingers down. Okay, I would do it in a little bit of a room that has a little bit higher of a ceiling than mine. All right, but follow through. Then you can put two hands, your guide hand, the ball is still above my elbow, not above my shoulder, not above my head, not above my chest. Chest pass is in front of your chest. Ball is above your elbow when you're shooting the ball. Okay, but let's go back to ball gymnastics. Now, this is the hardest one, 
Because these two are hard. You're not going to be able to do this one with the plastic bag. Okay? You can try with a ball if you're allowed to bounce the ball in the house. All right? Um, first thing is you have one hand in front and one hand in the back like this with the ball. Okay? You're going to switch it. So you're going to switch hands so that your hand that's in front will go behind and your hands here will go in front just like that but at the same time. So it's like this. So you gotta toss the ball up a little bit. So it's like that. You can go as fast as you can. Ten times. And if you need to use dribbling, if you need to dribble the ball, okay, then you can bounce it and switch. Just like that. Now you should feel the burn in your legs. Alright, so that's good. Now that is ball gymnastics. Okay, let's try with this bag for a little bit. So, same thing. Okay, you can do this drill with this. Okay, you can go around your leg with this. Okay, around this leg. Okay, and all the way around. Let's try to go up and then down. All right, so how we'll do this is, for me, I'll be standing through my legs. And as I go around my waist, I'll kneel down and I'll go up. If you have room, because the final one, you wanna be able to stretch your arms upwards like this and use your fingertips. Okay, so first things first, start here. Just like this, good, all right. Around your legs. So we'll go one, two, three. Back, one, two, three. Around your waist, one, two, three. Back, one, two, three. Around your head, one, two, three. One, two, three. And then up, one, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can do this 20 times. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Okay? Now let's see if we can go back. Six, four, five, six, seven, eight. 30. Do this as fast as you can. 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, oh, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And you want to keep doing that as fast as you can uh, to get really good with the ball gymnastics and get just to, to get, again, like I said, get your fingertips. Get used to moving the ball, controlling the ball. It's best if you had a basketball um, so that you get used to having it in your hands and moving it, right? Because in basketball, you, you use. Um, but any kind of ball is good. As long as you can control the ball, right? Soccer ball is fine. A kick ball is fine. Dodge ball, if you have one, one of those kind of soft balls. Um, if you don't have one, again, make this one. But all of you should be following along with what I just did. So go back, follow along, and do it. See if you can do it a couple times. To work out. It's a good way to control the ball, get used to doing other sports as well. One of the lessons that you're going to do, ball gymnastics. I hope everyone's safe. See you guys.